Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, back at home from the Los Angeles TwitchCon trip. It was a load of fun. Thank you so much to everyone who came out. It really made for a memorable experience. But now that we are back at home, we can properly get back into the groove of making videos. It is clear horizons as far as the eye can see. From the looks of it, this holiday season is going to be incredibly exciting with Unturned 4.0 properly in development and we will get into that with today's update notes. As of now, there are two things I'd like to address, one of which, 300,000 subscribers. I know it was a while ago, but now that I'm back at home, I can properly address this. As of now, I'm doing a giveaway, as I generally always do. If you'd like to enter that, it is in the description down below. I'm giving away a $100 Steam gift card. Now, in regards to other celebratory things, I've kind of done all the cliche YouTuber things that people do at Milestones. I've done the gaming setups, I've done the Q&As, giveaways, all that kind of stuff. If you guys can think of anything else, please let me know. I'd be totally open to it. And the second thing worth addressing are the new trains that were added last week and improved upon this week. These things are so cool. As of now, they're currently only on Russia. However, if you have a custom map, you can put these on your train tracks. These are, as Nelson puts it, the fastest mode of transportation in the game as long as your destination is along the tracks, which on Russia spans from Yekaterinburg all the way over to Zavad and then the, to the battle train over here. Now there aren't very many useful locations like Moscow or military bases along the train tracks, however it does make it more enticing to build your bases along this train track so that you can get easy transportation to and from your base. Now in regards to how the train works, it's just a simple vehicle. It uses gas, you fill it up, this one already, I already filled it up, it's at 16%. Once you get in it, it's just W and S. You can't steer obviously because you can't really steer train. And that's it. It has a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. It is really, really quick. Now, this was all added last week. If you guys are, are really following along to Unturned, you might have already known that this was added last week. I was gone for when this was added. The main thing that was improved upon last week were these little flatbeds that stick on the back. Now, well, I guess these aren't very little. These are huge. These are flatbeds that are on the back of every train that you find here on Russia or on any map for that matter. And this is where it gets really interesting. This is so perfectly flat, it's obviously meant for building bases on this. You can have a train base. Like, I mean, come on. That's awesome. We can separate each of these train cars to be its own little thing. You could have one section have uh, guns and all that. One section be a defense thing. So I'd probably make the back train car here, have like watch things out the back so you could see. Uh, and then this could be storage. And then this could be, or maybe this would be gun storage. And then this would be like food and stuff. I'm sure you guys have are, are used to uh, building stuff on vehicles. It's the same idea, except this is on a train. There's just something so much cooler about building on a train. Well, um, I, uh, I spent a, a concerningly long amount of time on this. Um, I'm really hoping it works, but, you know, when the train is standing still, I've created something, something, something for the record books. This is a nice house I have on this train, and I've only used one third of it. Uh, well, maybe like 40% of it. I've still got all this extra space here, and I can still build out more that way and more that way, but... Check out this mansion on a train. Look at this thing. It is the it is the definitive mobile home. All right, I've got the kitchen. I've got the library for all that knowledge. I got the water tank. I got the fuel tank. It doesn't have any fuel or water in it, but it can have fuel and water in it. And also within the safety of my home, I can take fuel out of the cargo train and put it into my fuel tank where it is safely away from other people and then when it's time to move somewhere else I can just take the fuel out of there and put it into the train and then we can make sure that there's nobody on the roof there's nobody somewhere where they shouldn't be yep all right everything's clear I've got you know I made this little walkway isn't that great and uh, then I can shut the door I can go inside the train and we are ready to move boys Oh my gosh. Okay, well, some things are connected to other... I mean, you know, some things are connected to the train and something... Okay, well, you know, it, it still works, okay? And if there is something in the way, like a building that says, you shall not pass, no problem for the mobile home. 
you can just smash straight okay wait okay you can smash straight through it no problems this 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 train has no brakes this mobile home we just we just move on no questions asked this is this is actually amazing this is even more amazing than i had originally thought it was going to be and then when it's time to stop like on this bridge slow down slow down all right we got to go in reverse a little bit i kind of forget that this is a train you know so can't really stop too well all right and this is where the new headquarters will be i can just walk over here and um well you know it it does look like the distance between the the things has been a little messed up and you know i guess the door is kind of useless now but with a little bit of tinkering this thing is bulletproof actually that's that's really strange i'm not quite sure <laughs> I, um, I think I built it when the tr when the trains were more compressed to each other. So I guess the solution to this would be like to create some some like uh, it's hard to explain, but I have the I have the solution in my brain, and I yeah, I'm just you know I'm just gonna do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I've covered up all the little gaps and stuff. So now, regardless of whether or not these cargo things, these flatbed trailers are squished together or as far apart as they can go, um, I am still protected, except for that one little gap there. But nothing, a little bit of siding won't fix. Um, hold on. There. Well, a little. Oh, well, you can see. Man, this thing has a top speed way higher than I thought it was going to be. 110, 100, 120 kilometers. I said 100 earlier, didn't I? 130 kilometers an hour. This train's going to derail. Gosh, look at this. Just not a worry in the world. I can just reverse down the train tracks at 140 kilometers an hour. Ooh, this looks like a nice scenic spot. A nice viewpoint over Moscow. Yeah, I'm going to stop right here on this bridge. This is nice. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. Right here yes perfect all right all right and then we take the gas out of this we go inside our house don't mind me gonna open that up perfectly sealed once again so aside from that one little hole that'll find a solution to and then put it in the fuel reserve safe and sound nobody can get in the cargo train unless they have gas can i lock this Yes, I can. <gasps> yes, I can. Oh my gosh, this house is mine. It's mine. Unless somebody blows it up. Then I guess it would be theirs, but... Yeah, that kind of applies to everything, doesn't it? Oh, there's a big gap here. Oh, big gap there. Oh, jeez. I didn't even need to go around. Okay, well, that's more things to figure out, but of course... I, I think I'm having way too much fun with building bases on this train. Now this was really sloppy and put together over the course of 30 minutes. If I really wanted to spend some time on something, I think there's a whole lot of potential with these train flatbed things. That is awesome. For now, that was the train and the improvements that came in today's and last week's update. Uh, and that was basically everything that was also added uh, today and last week. I mean, there were a few minor things here and there, but the train was the big ticket item. This thing is so cool. I know that there's been a lot of suggestions for trains like this, and it's nice to see it finally added. Also, this week, Nelson talks about Unturned 4.0. Always super exciting to uh, hear more development information in regards to the next installment of Unturned. This week, Nelson is talking about gunplay and the new effects and details that he's working on. Something so simple, yet somehow makes me concerningly excited for no reason. Uh, Nelson says that he's been really excited this week starting to get the gunplay working for Unturned 4.0 and all the new effects. You can hear shells as they bounce off nearby walls and floors. The parts on the guns, like the the charging handle move when you pull them. You can see the dropped magazine fall from the gun and the new magazine one in your hand as you insert it and many more. This is 
so cool. I am so excited. If this is going to be on guns, imagine the things that cars will have with uh, openable doors and trunks and hoods. And with buildables, you could have more moving aspects when you interact with them. Also with grenades, maybe you can see the pin get pulled out of the grenade as you throw it. Overall, just lots of super cool details that will be a part of the game. That's always super exciting to hear about. Nelson says that there's still lots to do in this department, but he's hoping to have a video demonstration presentable soon. So hopefully next week we will actually get our first footage of Unturned 4.0 and in this case the gunplay of Unturned 4.0. Overall super exciting. The next few weeks are going to be very interesting but for now that was basically everything that was added and discussed in today's and last week's update. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out. Thank you